Hi guys, welcome back to Ray's Rails. Today's video, I have a um, couple of 1954 line out train catalogs I um, got for Christmas. You can see they're in really nice shape. The corners are pretty good, a little bit of dog earring, but they're pretty cool catalogs. So I'm gonna flip through them real quick. I'm not gonna go um, too slow. One thing I did notice, I'm surprised the way the coloring is on this um, train master here, but still really eye catching. On the next page, we have some neat stuff here. A couple of uh, sets. Those look really cool. <clears throat> Next page, yeah, nice couple more beautiful sets, beautiful coloring, very interesting pictures. I really like that uh, seaboard um, switcher there. So I'm gonna flip the page here. Next page, I really like this uh, Texas Special. I have that one already. I really think these uh, passenger cars are really cool there. I think I might get these passenger cars to go with the Texas Special actually. One thing I um, like on this page here. I like the way um, they put these uh, little factories in the background, even though I don't think they ever made them. It really uh, dresses the uh, picture up. I loved looking at the old prices. It's just still amazing. But what's great about this, most of these stuff, most of these um, trains, you know, they're still readily available and it's like going back to 1950. Next page here, you can see another more beautiful pictures. Yeah, interesting, these uh, gentlemen up in the thing. It looks like that one guy's actually playing golf, but I guess they're supposed to be skiing. Another thing here, here's the Lackawanna Train Master. Here's that, um, that color in the front, that odd color. I'm surprised that uh, the ink on the catalog made it that color. I never really saw one that was colored before. But you can see, $59.95, great price. This is one piece I never had the, um, the beak in there. And on the next page, we've got the 2321 Train Master again, Western Pacific uh, car. That's a real beauty. I like that Lehigh Valley caboose there. That's one I'm always... I'm uh, chasing around. Didn't seem, don't seem to um, ever uh, run into it. This is one thing I was really happy to see the 2500 uh, series uh, um, passenger cars. As you can see, there's the one with the large doors. That one is a real beauty. I hope to have that one in the collection if I could uh, ever find it. You know, for less than two bills, I'll probably grab it depending on what condition it is. But I'm hoping to find the, uh, the, uh, the five car set and I actually got a uh, F3, a Santa Fe that's in lower condition and I got one in better condition. So I'll probably buy two different sets of those in the future. This is really nice to see the uh, Santa Fe in the catalog in the New York Central. It must've been really cool to see that for the first time when you open up this catalog. Boy, these Southern ones, uh, F3s, that's really a beautiful set. I highly doubt I will um, ever have one of those just due to the price, but maybe someday. That's really cool. Got the Titanic in the background. That's what I like to think it is. And here we are with the 2500 uh, series uh, passenger cars. Uh, those are always really cool to see. And you see the guy on the horse. Yeah, pretty interesting there. Got a couple cactuses in the background. But I will eventually, um, like I said, I just got this catalog not too long ago. And I will really admire it in the near future. But I mean, this page here is, oh my gosh, they should have just left this for the centerfold. It's so beautiful. Chesapeake in Ohio, Atchison, Pico, Santa Fe, Rock Island. Beautiful. It's just uh, amazing. I don't know. It re reminds me of a day gone by. Just how great everything looks. Next page is some rolling stock. There's some real classics there. I'm sure you saw um, at your, most of your train shows and um, here and there. And on the next page, uh, there's a searchlight car. I don't know. That car is um, one that I think I grew up with. That I had since I was like seven years old. This Pennsylvania caboose. Um, Lehigh Valley, the coal dumping car. Those are all uh, great fun. This milk car, oh my gosh, I came from 1954. Here we are almost 70 years later and it's still bringing back the joy as it did in 1954. And on the next page here, there's the gantry crane I need. Um, but I plan on getting the command controlled run or maybe just a manual one like that. But I hope to have that one in the near future. So that'll be pretty good. Maybe I'll have this uh, coal loader. I have this ramp. For some reason, that ramp never makes it onto the table. The barrel loader goes on and off on the table. It's a big accessory and you need a long straight run for it. it takes up a lot of room, but that's on my shelf. But as you can see, the background here is wonderful once again. And on the next page, uh, this barrel loader I have um, bought that. I had a lot of joy with it. The kids did too, but now it's sitting on the back shelf, not really on the layout anymore. This uh, switch tower, I like that one. I picked that one up probably for $8 and um, gave it some love and uh, works great. 
And on the next page, we have um, KW and the ZWs. I picked up one of these KWs at the last train show. It's amazing. These things are 70 years old, and they still uh, work great, take a little care of them, and, and they're pretty neat. One other thing I like on this back page here, you can buy something in this book for 20 cents. That's amazing. So just shows how times have changed. There's classic smoke pellets. I think those things are always around. I always run into them underneath the table, and... Um, um, stuff like that. And on the back page, we have the, um, the fishing, um, tackle. That's neat how they made their, um, their sets that are, um, science sets and their fishing rods and stuff like that. So that's how that 1954 book is. I'll go on to the accessory book one, um, real quick here. You can see this is where the, uh, book originally came from. That's pretty neat. The tape is pretty dry, actually coming off, but classic. The kid looks really happy. That's what I like to see. These kids are even more happy. There's your gantry. That's a little bit different the way it looks, so pretty neat. That's, and uh, the coal dumping, the uh, light tower, that's always neat, the coal ramp. Next page. You have the gate man, the oil well. That looks like the little, the operating whistling station. Hmm, that's very interesting. I didn't know that one was that old. I thought that was a newer accessory. I, but it's good to see these catalogs. I like that 317 bridge here. One thing I do have that 137 bridge is, um, if anyone can answer me this question, see how there's like this letter A right here in the middle? I have one, and it's a V. Never saw one before like that. I only ran across it once, so I bought it. I have no idea who made it, but it must have been an odd run because I never see it. Um, it always has the A and never the V. But that's just one interesting tidbit, so... Doesn't really matter to me. I love my trains either way. And here's a couple of track plans. Once in a while, I these track plans come in handy. You look at a hundred of them, and something really inspires you. Yeah, sky's the limit on model trains. Then we have a few more: um, the water tower and the uh, the part that the luggage goes around the crossing gate. All good stuff. A few operating cars. The uh, cattle loader car. That one really is a lot of fun. Milk car. There it is again. That one deserves to be in the front of every catalog, I believe. And getting towards the back, we got some more transformers and some um, some more great cars. And then we have some uh, Lino locomotives. I'm surprised that's in this catalog. This is the first time actually I went through it. And um, I thought it was the accessory catalog. But there we are, just to wet your whistle, I guess they put it on the last page. So, yep, keeps it in your head. So that's where the money is and that's where the business is. So that's how that catalog ended up. So here we are. We have the two catalogs and... Um, I'm going to really enjoy these in the near future and like all my other trains and keep it a, that'll keep it a great hobby and uh that will go from there all right guys so uh, that's my video for today hope you enjoyed it if you have any questions leave them in the comments and don't forget to hit that subscribe button thanks for watching razor rails